Oh, do you want a hand with that? <laughs> yeah, right. Since when have you lifted anything heavier than 24 carats? <laughs> Besides, we've just had our nails done. What do you want, Sharon? Surely you can think of something better to do with your life than sit around watching someone else at work. Actually, it's Colette's dog. We need an appointment with Paddy. We're fully booked all day. But it's an emergency. My, what's wrong with it? Nothing. She just needs them chipped. My Dean wants to take us to Port Abanis. That's my beer. Mm. Very 70s. I want to go tomorrow, but he needs his puppy passport. Oh, yes, he does. Nicola, meet Bo. Bo, meet Nicola. But it'd be months before Bo will be allowed abroad. Surely we could fast-track him. No, we can't. It, it doesn't work like that. Well, there's got to be a way. Dean will be furious. You want to watch yourself round right here, flashing that kind of cash, you'll get mugged. Is she threatening me? I will be in a minute, love. The best thing you can do, get him chipped today, put him in a kennel while you're away, pick him up when you get home, and then he'll be ready for your next holiday. You're joking, aren't you? I'm not having my little baby stay somewhere like that. It'd be like sending him to prison. Hmm. Well, they're your options, and I've really got to get on. Lovely to meet you. Um, who's next? Mrs Willoughby. Would you like to come through, Mrs Wobbly? Wibbly? Uh, Willoughby. Let me see you out. No, don't, don't give her the dog. <laughs> I think Bo wants to, you know, water the daisies. I know just the spot. Oh, he's very particular. I wouldn't expect anything less. I'm a big girl. All part of the service. How long do you think it should be? We could go for a coffee. I couldn't settle. I need to get Bobo sorted out first. Haven't you got any friends that I'd have him? I hang out with Sharon. What does that tell you? Well, can't she look after him for a few now? You're joking, aren't you? I wouldn't trust her with my baby. Besides, she's allergic to dogs and dust and gluten, and about a million other different things. I'm sure she only does it for attention. He run a dog-sitting service for special customers. How come the vet didn't say? He's concerned about being too pushy. It's a very personal service. We get a lot of celebrity pets. <laughs> Can't name names. Discretion is all part of the service. Is he expensive? It's not cheap. Nothing that's worth it ever is. We like to think of the dogs as friends of the family rather than boarders. He's ever so fussy about his food. Mm, not a problem. We'll tailor the menu to suit his needs. What if he pines for me? We've never been apart. He'll be fine. It's character building. Besides, he'll have round-the-clock care and attention. Hiya, love. Is he sorted? No. But I think we've got a plan B. Of course I'm sure. Wouldn't say it otherwise. It's like we cleared the onslaught. Mm, we've had a good day, haven't we? How come you're so chirpy? Someone put a feather in your knickers. And we're not allowed to smile now. Ladies. We just wanted to come and say a big thank you for looking after my little baby at such short notice. We can't chip him now. Oh, we'll take good care of him, don't you worry. Will we? <laughs> And you need to start looking out for number one for a change. Stop worrying about everybody else all the time. Well, you're going to be a good doggy for your Auntie Nicola, hmm? And if you're very, very good, maybe Mummy will bring you back a treat. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> bye. I'll miss you. Yeah, bye. No way, Nicola. You hate animals. Brass, if she's paying, I love them. Well, it's not staying here. Oh, but why? You've got the room. You're going to have to find alternative arrangements. Oh, but Paddy, it is tiny. I don't care. Ah, 